Hi guys, welcome to the structure of the heart. You need to be able to describe the appearance of the heart and its associated blood vessels, explain why the heart is made of two pumps and explain how the structure of the heart is related to its function. So in terms of the specification, we are here now. So we're looking at the double circulation in mammals. We are looking at the coronary arteries and the cross structure of the human heart. So this is the structure of the human heart. As you can see, it's divided by septum. Septum is here to make sure that deoxygenated blood, so the blue one, and oxygenated blood, the red one, are not going to mix. So how does it work? The blood from the body, uh, it's, it's transported back to the heart through the blood vessel called vena cava to the uh, right atrium. Then it's going to be pumped to the ventricle, right ventricle, uh, through the AV, atrioventricular valve, and pumped away from the heart through the pulmonary artery to the lungs. In the lungs, uh, uh, the blood will get oxygenated and will come back to the heart, to the uh, left side of the heart through the pulmonary vein. Then again, we'll go down to the uh, ventricle through the AV valve and will be pumped away to the rest of the body except the lungs by aorta. Right, question number one is to explain why both the heart and arteries are described as organs. So other things, what is the definition of the organ? It's a group of different tissues. And this is our, dif uh, our definition, our answer, because they contain different or more than one tissue. Right. Here, to recap again, check your uh, understanding of the heart. Right side, left side. Okay, four chambers. H on the top, uh, ventricles at the bottom. Vena cava bringing the blood to the right uh, atrium. Uh, pulmonary artery carries it away from the right ventricle to the lungs where it's going to get oxygenated. Here we've got uh, we've got the pulmonary vein bringing it back to the left atrium, left ventricle and the aorta that will carry it away from the heart to the rest of the body. Here we've got the AV, atrioventricular valves. Here we've got semilunar valves. So uh, the blood flow in, okay, and flows away. So the blue side, okay, uh, right side of the heart, it's the pump that carries it to the lungs. The red side, the, oxyg the oxygenated side, it, it's when it's pumped to the rest of the body. Right, so to summarize, two pumps, right to the lungs, left to the body, four chambers, atrium and ventricles, uh, two of each. The difference between them is due to the distance, okay? So atrium is thin-walled, ventricles are thicker uh, because they pump the blood to, uh, to, the, uh, to the lungs or to the rest of the body, Why atrium only pumps the blood to the ventricles. Right, so all the structures of the heart that we've mentioned, uh, septum, so separates right and left side of the heart, so no mixing of oxygenated and deoxygenated blood can take place. AV, atrioventricular valves between atria and ventricles, so prevent the blood flowing back into atria when ventricle contracts. Semilunar valves, so they are in the aorta and pulmonary arteries, prevents the blood flowing back into the ventricles when the heart muscle relaxes. Differences between atrium and ventricle, we've mentioned them. So atrium has a thinner walls and it's elastic and stretch as it collects the blood. Ventricles, they will have much thicker muscular wall as it contract to pump blood away to the lungs or to the rest of the body. Ventricles, then we can see difference between those as well. So left ventricle, it's a bit thicker because, and it has more muscular wall because it con the contractions it's causing are much more powerful because they will pump blood uh, away from the heart to the rest of the body except the lungs while the right ventricle it pumps only to the lungs, so the distance is much shorter. Right atrioventricular valves that we've mentioned before, 
So they prevent the backflow of blood into atrium when ventricles contract. There, uh, there are two of them, bicuspid and tricuspid, but for your specification, you just need to say atrioventricular valve. That would be good enough, but in the old past paper questions, you will still came across those terms. Same situation with semilunar valves located in arteries, leaving ventricles. And in the past paper questions, you will see pulmonic and aortic valve. But again, semilunar valves are good enough to write down in your exam. Right, so a quick activity for you. Um, freeze the screen and try to match the blood vessel with the function. Right, ready? So now we go checkpoint aorta connected to the left ventricle carries oxygenated blood to the body vena cava d connected to the atrium right atrium carries deoxygenated blood from the uh, body tissues pulmonary artery a connected to the right ventricle carries deoxygenated blood to the uh, lungs and pulmonary vein C connected to the left atrium carries oxygenated blood to the heart from the lungs. Right, one more blood vessel, coronary artery. It's really important because it supplies the heart muscle with oxygen and glucose so the aerobic respiration can take place. Where can you locate the coronary artery? So it's a branch, it branches of the aorta. So just here. Okay. So here again, you can freeze the screen. Have a look if you understand the double circulation. If you know the uh, flow of the blood. Right. So let's check if you know it now. So the heart muscle and the heart valves maintain a one-way flow of blood from the left atrium to the aorta. Describe how. So left atrium to aorta. So let's locate this. So they're asking from here to there. Right. So of course, you know the, the names of the valves. You know the names of the uh, heart chambers. But really important part of this question is the are the valves so when it comes to the valves you need to be talking about the pressure so every time the blood leaves uh, for example the uh, atria and goes to the ventricles the pressure in the atria must be higher so the atrioventricular valve opens so this has to be included in your answers in every single marking point you need to be talking about pressure if you don't you're not getting five marks so let's have a look so atrium has higher pressure than ventricles due to contractions causing atrioventricular valves to open ventricles has higher pressure than atrium causing atrioventricular valves to close Ventricle has higher pressure than aorta, causing semilunar valve to open. Higher pressure in aorta than ventricles, causing semilunar valves to close. And wrapping up sentence number five, contraction causes increase in pressure. Right, so have a look here. The direction of the blood flow, it's maintained in this answer. But in every single marking point, you need to refer to the valves and to the pressure because that's what the question would like to uh, is asking you to do so right so what is the function of the coronary artery remember supplies the heart muscle with the oxygen glucose okay and look muscle tissue cells uh, are on the line so if you only say to the heart that's not good enough right here it's a really good question to uh, to refer the structure of the septum. So suggest how the flow of some of the blood between the oh sorry not the septum but the fact about oxygenated and deoxygenated blood, aorta and pulmonary artery could cause children to die. So my advice is, aorta. You know aorta carries oxygenated blood. So write this down here: oxygenated blood. Pulmonary artery uh, carries deoxygenated blood. Okay, so what, what will be our suggestion? 
it's the model answer here. So oxygenated and deoxygenated uh, blood, of course, are going to kind of mix here. So some oxygenated blood from aorta flows into pulmonary artery. So at the effect, we are going to get